In dealing with the concentration unit molarity, which we abbreviate with a capital M, we need to remember that mol the M is not a unit. What I've written here is M is just a letter. We have to remember that M stands for a ratio of two units. So moles is a unit, it tells us how many uh, moles we have, and liter is a unit, that's a volume unit. So for example, we looked at a bottle that was five molar copper sulfate. What we should write, instead of writing five M copper sulfate on the label, we should write that there's five moles of copper sulfate per liter. And the reason we don't do that is because we're lazy. So chemists use this M as an abbreviation. So if, for example, this thing looks like it's about, I guess, 80 milliliters. So if we have, I'm going to ask how many moles of copper two sulfate are in, we'll say, 82 milliliters of a five molar copper sulfate solution. That's the most common way we use the capital M. So I have to turn milliliters into liters. So I have 0 0.082 liters. And then this 5 is the concentration unit. M is a unit conversion, basically. So instead of writing M, I'm going to write mole per 1 liter. And then I'm going to write the copper sulfate. So notice our volume units cancel. That liter is built into this M. So I should have picked an easier number, but 5 times 0.082, 5 times 0.082 gives me the number 0.41. So we'll just use one significant figure. So that's how many moles of copper sulfate happen to be in this exact volume here. I'm assuming that I know that this volume is 82 milliliters. If I wanted to see how many grams were in there, I could take 0.4 moles of copper sulfate, and then I could get out the periodic table and do the molar mass step. So one mole of copper sulfate weighs so many grams of copper sulfate. So once we have moles, we could calculate grams if we needed to. So copper weighs 63.55 plus there's one sulfur. Sulfur weighs 3207 plus there are four oxygens. So the molar mass of copper sulfate is easy to calculate, 159.6 grams. And we could multiply that by 0.4. So if we let all the water evaporate out of here, so if we just poured this on the table, let all the water evaporate, we should be able to weigh out exactly 63.8 grams of the salt that would be left. The most important thing, again, in working with capital M is when we see M written, we should rewrite that M as a mole per one liter, and then we can solve for moles just doing the science of canceling units.